Today, more than 160 million people need humanitarian assistance because of conflicts, natural disasters and other emergencies. The media often measures humanitarian emergencies with economic statistics or mortality rates. Around 200,000 people have been killed. But the rates of mental disorders can more than double in humanitarian crises. One in five people affected by conflict are estimated to have a mental health condition. And in emergency settings, the economic, social and health impacts of these conditions are extremely high. That's why it's crucial to increase mental health and psychosocial support in the wake of humanitarian crises. Many humanitarian agencies and organisations respond to emergencies across the world. Working in health facilities and through community networks, these organisations improve and expand mental health and psychosocial support services in dozens of countries like Ukraine, South Sudan, Syria, Nigeria, Yemen, Somalia, Bangladesh and many others. For example, when the Syrian conflict began in 2011, many health professionals fled to escape the war, and 23 million Syrians were left with little to no mental health care. In response to this emergency, more than 500 healthcare professionals have been trained to provide care for people with mental, neurological and substance use disorders. Thanks to trainings like these, free mental health and psychosocial support is now offered in more than 130 general healthcare centres, social care facilities and educational programmes in 10 cities across Syria. In comparison, in 2011, these services were based in just two psychiatric hospitals in Aleppo and Damascus. Samar is 47. She lost a son during the conflict and was forced to move to Deir Hassan camp with her family. Samar was referred to a primary health care clinic with mental health service in the camp. There she was assessed by a psychosocial support worker and a doctor. Sama also started taking better care of her home her family and began to interact with the outside world once more. Samar is one of over 4 million Syrians who now have access to care because of programs that integrate mental health care in primary care settings, like WHO's MHGAP program. It's a remarkable achievement, but there is much more that needs to be done. Through a further expansion of these services in Syria and around the world, we can continue to improve people's mental health and humanitarian emergencies.